Diversity strikes again up in New York City. <laughs> yeah, there is a such thing as too much diversity. Nah, there's nothing wrong with diversity. Too much diversity. I, it, you can eat too much of anything is dangerous. No, nah, too much ignorance is dangerous. There's a lot of ignorance that comes with diversity, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're right. When you live in an inner city yeah. you, that's ran by Democrats, them yeah. school systems are for are just turning out idiots. That imbecility is on full display <laughs> downtown. Oh, it's white supremacy. Yeah, man. I mean, white people, man, y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. Y'all should have some more diversity so y'all can put up with this bullshit. <laughs> What's going on in New York City? How dare you? Y'all need some Let more. the inner cities put up with this foolishness. Y'all y'all need to take on some of this in Bismarck, North Dakota. Yeah, y'all, y'all need to diversify y'all's population hey, so y'all can put up with the real world. <laughs> hey, but this is sad. It happened in New York. They, yeah, at a dude, McDonald's, huh? At a McDonald's. I guess they had some co- You know what? Just, just listen to the video. Man, say it. Video shows a crowd form outside of a McDonald's on Fulton Street last night. Police say a 23-year-old fast food worker was shot around 7.15. It all started when he was approached by a female customer who sources say was mad her fries were cold and began arguing. Bitch, these fries is cold. (laughs) Yeah. Video shows a crowd form outside of a McDonald's on Fulton Street last night. Police say a 23-year-old fast food worker was shot around 7.15. It all started when he was approached by a female customer who sources say was mad her fries were cold and began arguing with the employee. That argument moved outside, and that's when sources say the woman called over her 20-year-old son to, quote, take care of the problem, who then pulled out a gun and shot the employee in the neck. He was rushed to Brookdale University. University Hospital. Police say the 20-year-old son was taken into custody. You know, I've gotten a, a several verbal altercations with uh, with the Negro persuasion. Every time a what woman said, about? "Huh? What?" I've been in a couple verbal altercations with a couple Negroes, and their mom said, "You know, what? I'm gonna get my son to take care of this." When you hear that, that situation is dangerous. You know what happened to us in Denver? Oh, yeah. That black yeah. woman? Yeah. What happened? Yeah, she went out to the car and got a nigga. He didn't, she didn't say she was going to get her, her son. She said, I'm finna go get my husband. Well, she didn't say husband. I'm finna go get my man. I don't know who it was, a dude. When yeah. a woman says she's going to go get a dude, <laughs> you know that's going to turn into a real ignorant-ass situation. <laughs> we have I mean, first-hand it knowledge. Me, it happened to me in a movie theater. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. got into a, a verbal altercation because I was taking too long buying all this food, mm-hmm. and this woman behind me was getting pissed. We said something back and forth, and then she went and got a boyfriend, and I wasn't even looking to do, like, totally sucker punch me. Yeah. At the theater. And I was there to see Passion of the Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I think they was going to go see the same movie in that punching niggas. No, it ain't no way in hell they're going to go see Passion of Christ. That's they why I was They go might have been going to go see Bulls in the Hood or something. <laughs> But they ain't going to go see no Passion I was going to go see Passion of Christ, but I got punched. Because his girlfriend told her boyfriend that I hit her. Yeah. That's Women why lie, did. man. Women, they stretch the truth. They use hyperbole. She went to her son and said some crazy stuff. And unfortunately, something horrible happened. Yeah, so. Um, That's why you can't believe all women. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but. Um, I think women are bigger liars than men. And they're saying something. Because I lie all the time. <laughs> Hey, let me say something. You ain't gotta say. You ain't gotta ask me to say something. This is a free country. Go ahead. No, I'll get ready to say something, and you say something. Talk over me, man. No, you're just a slow talker. You need to learn how to speak up <laughs> and assert yourself more. But anyway, let me say something. Well, say it. <laughs> but anyway, um, <clears throat> see, you bullshit. <laughs> Okay, turns out. See, this whole Black Lives Matter is a joke. Yeah. It's a joke. Nobody, Black people don't even believe it. Because it turns out the guy that got shot, mm-hmm. he got shot in the neck. So obviously he was shooting for his head. He missed, got him in the neck. Yeah. And the guy that took off running, they later arrested him. He's black. This whole Black Lives move, black people didn't even believe in this shit. Because if they did, black crime against other black people would come down. That yeah. shit's getting worse and worse by the day. Yeah, this dude got shot over some cold fries. How easy is it to fix 
an order with cold fries. Yeah. Just the, give them Allegedly, fries. the fries was cold. Allegedly. Can't believe these people. Man, ain't nothing more. Because this dude, actually, these people, I don't believe anything they're saying. Yeah. You know? I don't believe neither. Uh, if you're going to go, because she called her son. Son came and shot him. You know, her son has now been arrested, not for this shooting mm-hmm. as of yet. He was arrested on another shooting. He confessed to it. A murder. <clears throat> and I now, guarantee you, think- you, I guarantee you it was another black man or a black woman. Yeah, let me say this. Um, so I think that woman knows what kind of son she has. Of course. That, you know what? I'm going to fix this. I'm going to go get my son. She yeah. already knows he's out there she killing people. disrespected. So yeah. she called her son. Son came in and shot a dude for cold fries. I'm thinking it's a little bit more than cold fries because yeah. it's easy to fix cold fries. Yeah. Here, ma'am, here's some new set of fries. Sorry about that. Yeah. Right. Tell him, man, women lie, man. I bet it was one big, whole big misunderstanding. She went to her son and told a bunch of fibs. He comes back. He's loco. He's got less of a brain. He's dragging his arms like a damn knuckle dragger, and he pulls out a weapon and shooting. It's uncivilized. Did I send you a picture of the guy? There, here's the picture. Uncivilized. They arrest him. And, of course, the dude's wearing a mask. Yeah, he don't want to get COVID while he's killing people. <laughs> Well, he's still clinging to life. Hopefully, he pulls through. Yeah, hopefully, he does. But man. I don't know. Like, why are you going outside to look for the guy that you just got into an argument with his mom about cold fries? Why are you going outside? Yeah. I mean, it's an honor thing. It's, I mean, in our coaches, disrespect. Oh, you ain't going to disrespect me. I'm going to meet you outside. Yeah, I but mean, you know, once you get outside, it ain't going to be a fair fight. Yeah, niggas I, don't fight fair. Nobody fights fair. Nobody, especially niggas. <laughs> Man, what are you, racist? No, I ain't racist. I'm just speaking. I'm spitting facts over. You know how many times I got jumped? <laughs> Bring your light-skinned ass outside. <laughs> I said, oh, I'm coming outside, nigga. As soon as I get up, there's 50 other niggas out there waiting for me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I got so- man. Yeah, I'm man. Not gonna, I'm not going to even get into that. Niggas don't fight fire. <laughs> You know they don't, man. Yeah. There ain't no rules in no street fight. <laughs> Me being a law abiding citizen, I don't realize that until I'm in the, you know, heat of the battle. Yeah. Hey, man, you ain't supposed to do that. It's rules. <laughs> it's not like a duel, man. No, man, street fight, See, white people goes. Think, I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> yeah. There's rules to a fight. When yeah, comes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, when it comes to white people. Yeah. I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> That's the white thing to do. White people, come on, come on. Pull out a knife and just stick your ass. Who, white people? No, black people. Well, well, yeah, I'm being racist, man, against my own kind. I'm sure. I'm sure white people do it, too. Yeah, they're vicious, too. Where are we going with this? No, man. Um, I'm, It is. You know, when it comes to a fight, <laughs> I was looking at forensic files. This dude put up. A, these, these is white people, everybody. I was looking at an episode of Forensic Files. Forensic Files. That's one of my favorite shows, man. But this dude, he pulls up, it's raining outside, he sees this hot white chick, all her white privilege out there saying, man, that girl, oh man, he go up to, hey, you need a ride? Her boyfriend was a loose cannon. He comes around, what, you trying to pick up my girl? So no, man, just calm down, man. I was just oh, asking man, if she need a ride. One. He pulls the dude out of the car. Starts beating his Dude's ass. a wrestler, he's a pro wrestler. He pulls him out, he's well on this guy. The guy pulls out a knife. It stabs him. Stabbed him. Self-defense, though. It was self-defense. He, had to, uh, he, he probably, went, I think, he I was saw, guilty at first, but they gave him another trial. They said it was self. They released him. But let's let's talk about the. Uh, yeah, how the hell we get on that? You, man, I'm tired of this shit. Hey, but anyway, Black Lives Matter, huh? Yeah, they only they only make themselves aware of situations when when there's a white cop involved or a white person. Yeah, involved. that's the only time it matters. I mean, it, if you don't believe yeah. me, just black people just kill it. I mean, you die by the hands of anyone. It's close proximity. I mean, it's the same for white people. That white people typically live among, amongst each other. I always hear this all. Oh, black people live amongst each other. So, of course, they're just going to be killing each other. Mm-hmm. I mean, which is fucking stupid. But not at the rate that we do it to our own in our yeah. own community. It's yeah. like y'all fighting over fucking fries, man. Yeah. And you shoot a dude over cold fries because he disrespects your mom? And your mom's calling you? Your mom's a... Man... Hey, hold up before you do that, man. It's just it just goes to show you that Black Lives Matter or Black Black Lives Matter organization is just a sham. If they really want to pre- prevent black people from dying, they will show up to more of these 
these situations or, or they would make themselves more aware or known when it comes to violence in our own community. Yeah, if black people really believed in that slogan, the murders in the black between black people would mm. s- would least decline. Yeah. Nigga just got shot for some cold french fries. That was a damn good show.